sixth grade, module two, lesson 11, problem set. Solve each problem. Remember to round to the nearest penny when necessary. Calculate the product, 45 and 67 hundredths times 32 and 57 hundredths. 45 and 67 hundredths times 32 and 58 hundredths. Let's start with the eight. Eight times seven is 56, carry the five. Eight times six is 48, plus five, is 53, so I'll put the 3 down, carry the 5. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 is 45, carry the 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. I'm going to erase what I carried. Done with the 8, on to the 5, put my 0 down. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 is 33, carry the 3. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28, carry the 2, and 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Erase what we've carried, done with the 5, on to the 2, we need 2 placeholders. 2 times 7 is 14, carry the 1, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry the 1, and 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Erase those. Three placeholders and on to the three. Three times seven is 21. Carry the two. Three times six is 18 plus two is 20. Carry the two. Three times five is 15 plus two is 17. Carry the one and four times three is 12 plus one is 13. Now we need to add it all together. So we get six, three plus five is eight. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 4 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 8 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry the 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 7 is 19, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 1. Now, in our problem, there were 1, 2, three, four digits behind these decimal points. So in my answer, my product, I'm gonna move it over four places. One, two, three, four places. So I end up with 1,497 and 9,286 ten thousandths. But it says round to the nearest penny. So the penny is the hundredths place right here. So I'm gonna round to the hundredths place that's an 8, so the 2 is going to become a 3, and we'll have 1,497 and 93 hundredths. Number 2. Deprina buys a large cup of coffee for $4.70 on her way to work every day. If there are 24 work days a month, how much does Deprina spend on coffee throughout the entire month? So $4.70 every day for 24 days. I'm going to leave the zero off times 24. You can leave it on. It's just more to multiply, more zeros. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 2 is 18. Put our zero down. Done with the 2. Actually, I'm just going to erase the 2. And done with the 4. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Add it together, 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 9 is 11. So we had 1, 2 digits behind the decimal point. Actually, nope, 24 was just 24. So we only had 1 digit behind the decimal point. Seven tenths, unless you left it as 70. If you left the zero on there, then it's two places. So we, I only need to move it one place. So I get, she spends $112.80 a month on coffee. Number three, Krigo earns $2,456.75 every month. He also earns an extra $4.75 every time he sells a new gem membership. Last month, Krago sold 32 new gem memberships. How much did he earn last month? 
So he earns a flat rate of $2,456.75 every month, but he gets an extra set $4.75 for a new gem membership, and last month he got 32. So let's see how much he made off of gym memberships. So 475 times 32. Start with 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1. And 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Put my 0 down. Erase what I've carried. On to the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21. Plus 1 is 22. Carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. Now we add them together. We get that, but we had one, two digits behind the decimal point. So he made an extra $152 selling memberships. So let's add that to $2,456.75, plus make sure we line it up with the right place value, $152. Bring the decimal point straight down. 8, 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. That would be 6, 2. So $2,608.75 last month is how much he earned. Number 4. Kendra just bought a new house and needs to buy new sod for her backyard. If the dimensions of her yard are 24 and 6 tenths feet by 14 and 8 tenths feet, what's the area of her yard? So area is length times width. So we're going to do 24 and 6 tenths times 14 and 8 tenths. Starting with the 8. 8 times 6 is 48. Carry the 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 4 is 36. Carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 3 is 19. Erase what I carried. Done with the 8. On to the 4. Put our zero down. Four times six is 24. Carry the two. Four times four is 16 plus two is 18. Carry the one. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. Erase what I carried. Done with the four. Two zeros down. One times six is six. One times four is four. And one times two is two. Add it together. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 6 would be 24, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12, plus 4 is 16, 1 plus 2 is 3. So we had one, two digits behind the decimal point, so I'm going to move it over two places, and hers is 364 and 8 hundredths square 